we love to study racism. Mm -hmm. We love to produce data about racism, but we still have not moved toward incentivizing action. I'm more incentivized to produce papers about the community and the different challenges that they're experiencing mm -hmm. than I am creating an initiative to actually address those challenges. And it's embedded in the way that we think about promotion. It's embedded in the way that we think about the H index. What would it mean for us to take a step back and actually prioritize the needs and wants of the community to really practice equity instead of focusing so much on how much data can I produce about the struggles of the communities that we're talking about? The other point I'll make is that I think that we need to tell the truth. And right now, across the country, we've seen critical race theory be outlawed in over 10 states. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a similar trend in medicine where people are very resistant to talking about the history of racism in our institutions. So I think that telling the truth is what's gonna first get us there. And this summer I did a program called FASPI where I spent two weeks in Poland and Germany um, basically learning about the history of the Holocaust and it's an ethics fellowship um, and what I found so interesting is that their medical students are learning about the history of euthanasia at the spaces um, where a lot of these harms were being committed. Um, at early on in their, in their elementary school education, they're learning about the history of the Holocaust. And it's just embedded in their education that they're learning about their history. But here, we're trying to just make the first attempt to do that, and there's this resistance. And I think that that's really gonna be key to kind of getting rid of that inertia is we can't be afraid of the truth and we can't uh, study our way out of racism. Mm -hmm.